This started off as uh, just a little bit of fun in so much as we were trying to capture the sunset but with the lamps on as well. Never worked. So we're going to use Cunning Plan B which is to use one of my favourite filters, Topaz Labs, but we're going to be using the star effects. Right, for this to work though we need to put in a light source for the star effects to actually sort of give them something to work with. Using Command J, Control J, we've just duplicated the background layer. Coming across we're going to pick up the paintbrush we're going to come up, we're going to click on this little icon here which is going to open the brush panel. Now looking at this, the first things we need to do with this, you can see there's the size of the brush there, let's just make this a little bit bigger, taking it to around about that area. The hardness, yeah you can have the hardness 100% which is a hard edge brush, 0% which is a soft edge brush, I'm going for something in the middle which is about 50% will do nicely. The other important thing is to grab hold of this and to twist it round until you have got yourself 90 degrees. Just bringing it round a little bit more. In we go. Right, next, coming to the little side parts here. If we click on this, we're going to reduce this in just a touch or two, so we've got a bit of an oval brush going on. Right, bringing this up, lining it up roughly between the centre here and the post, but one other thing I have just noticed is putting in a black bulb is not going to work. Press D on the keyboard if you've got any other colours, swiftly followed by X will put white as the foreground colour. Now our bulbs should actually work. Right, clicking down, that was the energy saving one I had before by the way, just using the left hand square bracket, knocking it down to there just to drop it the bulb size down again, lining it up with the centre and two again and dropping it down just one this time on the left hand square bracket lining that up one again and lining that up and one again and popping that in there he says trying to line it up thank you right this time making the brush round again just taking the size up very slightly and clicking down in our lollipop style lamp there once we've done that we can put our brush panel out of the way. So there's our light sources. Right, next we're going to go to filter, we're going to go down to Topaz Labs, we're going to go down to Topaz Star Effects and this is going to open up the Topaz Star Effects. You will notice it has already turned on some of the lamps. If we take a look at this we got presets. Now as you bring your cursor down you'll notice the way it's going over that and you can see the sort of previews there and the panels taking place there, oh, Christmas lights just gone on coming through. I'm going to grab hold of the slider, dropping down to Sun Flare. Now Sun Flare I think works well or should work well with this. There's, there's Sun Flare 1, there's Sun Flare 2. Yes, right, let's go for Sun Flare 1. Right, in it goes. Looks pretty good. Taking a closer look, let's come across here. We're going to click on the little plus symbol just to go in so we can see it. There it is, much better. Starting on the top panel, let's come in and go for the combine. Now combine under the mode is what? Well, it's combining the image and the star. Or you can take a look at the star only. This is a great way. We've got traditional here for the sun flare one. And you can change it to the burst effect. You can go for all different types of... So you can create your own type of star coming through here. There's the hyper star. Yep, keep taking the tablets. There's a Hollywood star. I was hoping for Meg Ryan, but never mind. Through we come again. And yeah, you can see you've got all sorts. There's the North Star that looks pretty good. Let's go back for the traditional one there. Clicking on Combine again. There we are. Right, let's just fold this up out of the way. Let's come down to the main adjustment. Now the main adjustment, the top one, threshold, this is quite interesting. If we bring this down, as we start to move it across to the left hand side, watch what happens. We can switch on other lamps. So just bringing it back very slightly like this. And I'm going to use, no I'm not, I thought I was going to use the two together, but uh, I, there are, you can bring them all on. Switch all the lamps on in one go. Now I'm just going to use the first one here, so just bringing this back. The reason for that is that was so much brighter, I didn't really want that to happen. Coming in for the luminance, if we just bring the luminance out, just a touch or two, something into that area, there would be pretty good. Right, number of points, we have got 12. Let's drop it down to 8. That's looks good there. The angle, we can just change the angle of the star, swinging it round, just back a touch or two. There would be pretty good like that. 
right coming down to the spread. Now if we bring the spread up, you can see we can make the bulb brighter, which is just what I'm after. That looks good like that. Coming down to the next one, which is the colour adjustment. Colour adjustment, quite important for this. I want nice warm light, so I'm going to take the temperature down, goes blue, take it right up to the one there, and it goes to a nice warm colour. Saturation, of course, is the saturation in the colours. Just easing it back a touch or two from that is pretty good. See a nice little bit of red coming through there. Talking about a nice little bit of red, you can also bring in the rainbow strength. Now the rainbow strength gives it a little glow. It's a bit like lens flare for want of a better word. When you start looking around there you can start seeing different colours creeping in. Looks really good like that. Coming through, next we're going to go for secondary points and bring in up our secondary points. You see the way they're just coming through on the edges like that. like the way that's working job done. Glow, yeah, if I take it down any lower, but not going to see much, so I'm just going to uh, leave that where it is. Neatly changed my mind for a second, bet you couldn't tell, could you? No. There's our halo, we can make it bright and shiny, or we can bring it back down, I think it was around about that area there. Like it, clicking apply to apply it to this particular lamp. Right, coming back to our start settings. Now with our start settings, I'm going to click on show. So we're now using the show brush. If we come across, if I click on this, what it's going to do is it puts in almost like a default star. So let's click hide. Let's come and click on Sunflare 2. Now if we go for Sunflare 1 again, this time I've still got my hide brush. You sometimes need to make this quite a bit bigger for it to actually work out on this. It can be a little bit stubborn. Thank you. It behaved itself this time. Coming down to show. I'm going to drop my brush size down to that sort of area like this and clicking down. Doesn't make a huge difference the size of the brush. In that goes. Yep. Like the look of that. Let's try for two. Ooh, yeah. Like the look of that. Let's try for... Nope. Push my luck. So let's take this one out. So I'm just going to paint over that area there for the hide. So we're just now working with these two. Right, doing the same sort of thing again. We can change the star. We can change it to a burst effect. We can change it to a sort of a north star. Oh, let's go back for traditional. Right, coming down for the main adjustments. And the main adjustments, once again, we have got the threshold where we can sort of pull. If I pull it up a little bit, you may notice. And you may not, not notice. But if we bring it back the other way, we can start switching on other lamps as well. Let's just take it, yes, we've got those three there. See how this is going to work out. Size, dropping the size down just very slightly on this. I don't want to be bigger than the first one we put in, so dropping the size down to that sort of area looks pretty good. The angle again, taking this to roughly where we had it before, which was 90. Number of points we had before was 8, so dropping that down to the same sort of thing. Spread. This is the spread from the centre part, like that. So just bring in this down. That looks pretty good. You can just see the detail of the lamp through that one, right? Coming through to colour. This can be, I'm not, you know, this can be a little bit fiddly. I must be honest, it's not always easy to do, but it's worth persevering, just clicking and trying, seeing what you get. You know, there are no magic numbers for this. It is quite literally, just see what you get with it, bringing that through there slightly like that. Rainbow strength, taking that up, quite like the rainbow strength and the rainbow frequency. Right, coming down to additional, let's put in some more points by bringing that across, and points again by bringing that to glow effect. And you can see, just dropping the glow effect down to that area there, I just want more of a... In fact, this is where it gets difficult. What more on one and less on the other, right? Uh, coming through to that sort of area. That looks pretty good. Just taking the ring down slightly there. Right, clicking apply. That should do nicely. Once again, coming up to the star effect. Now, as we've seen before, when I go for the show, if I drop the size of the brush down, just using the slider like this, if I click on that, it's going to put in one of those regular squares. Squares? Stars. You began with S. Coming across, let's just go for Sunflare 2 this time. You can see it's 
got a habit of switching this one on. It just wants to be in on the scene the whole time. Let's get rid of that for a second. That's better like that. And if we just come back down in size for the show, let's click on that one, that one, and this one. I'm going to try that one again. Brilliant. Like it. Right, coming through. Let's come through. So you can see the flexibility of it. You can still come in, you can still change it, even though we've applied it once. Size, let's start off with our size and bring it our size down and just that sort of area there. Brilliant. That's it. Great stuff. Right. Threshold, leaving it where it is. Luminance, yeah, with grabbing hold. Yeah, perhaps not. Grabbing hold of the sliders, moving them back and forth, seeing the way they look. Something in that area. There looks pretty good. Number of points, 13. Let's drop it down to keep it consistent, 8. Spread and spread is looking pretty good like that. Right, colour. Colour is right up there in the temperature, so let's just bring the saturation across just a little bit, something back a touch or two. You'll notice the way the colours are varying now between reds. We've almost got like a green effect there. Quite like that though. <laughs> so we've got the rainbow strength up let's hit the rainbow frequency again and love the way that's looking great stuff because when these lights come on they all tend to work at a different temperature before they come through and yeah why not have a bit of color as well right it's coming through secondary points let's whack that up a bit yeah give it a bit more of a burst in effect great stuff the ring flare dropping the ring flare down slightly again there it is you can just see that's they're working away nicely there as well and uh, yeah I like that that's working well right clicking apply going through we can now click OK that's going to take us through we're back into Photoshop fantastic in the next section we'll be taking a look at actually sort of bringing it through a little bit further just working through it a little bit more until we get that sort of effect there so please join me in the next video